just this morning uh, I spent an hour learning about LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn every day, yet there are so so many golden things that I picked out in that one hour. And it's, it's something that you might not even learn in a course. So it depends on how you want to learn, how you want to digest, what kind of things you like. There's quite a few things to consider as well, but however you like to learn and however you like to pick up things, there will be a solution for that. So just look, um, know, knowing what it is that you might want to develop or grow in or change uh, or upskilling is helpful. And then okay, go from there. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to say that I am just hugely impressed that you do that, that you actually set aside an, an amount of time per week for self-development. And it's great that you do. I'm struggling to think of anybody, including me, that I know who actually does that. I do some self-development. I go away and learn things. I decide I need to know more. But to actually set aside a chunk of time each week and do that. Richard, you spend a lot of time advising businesses. Is that advice that you give businesses to do that? Or is that too structured and rigid for a lot of people? No, I do it myself. You do? Oh, yeah. now I know two people. Uh, and they're both here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, I, and I think there's, there's too many business owners out there, Mark, that spend too much time working in their business. They don't spend enough time working on their business. So as Ray said, you have to keep on top of whatever business you're running, you know, all the trends and whatever else is going on in that business. And you have to be leading the way. The last thing you want to be doing is playing catch up to people that are actually have picked up what you should have picked up if you'd have actually spent a bit of time working on your business.